You know, humans, we, we crawled out of the primordial suit with everything else here a long, long time ago. And I think we feel so far removed from it that um, it really takes that close encounter to reconnect with our environment and then go home and maybe think about it. 27 miles west of the Golden Gate Bridge is a tiny string of islands known as the Farallons. The Farallons have a rich natural history dating back to prehistoric times. Today, the waters surrounding these islands are home to a wide diversity of native and seasonal species. Depending on the season, you can find one of the largest populations of great white sharks, 12 species of nesting seabirds, and 33 species of marine mammals. These islands are a mystery to most San Francisco residents and can only be seen on a very clear day. The Exploratorium crew met with the SF Whale Tours to get a closer view of these rocky islands and the creatures that exist in our local waters. My name is Tom Bruno, and I'm the captain of the Kitty Cat. Well, the Gulf of the Farallons is a uh, is a unique place. It's one of only three areas in the world that, that gets tremendous upwelling uh, and lots of nutrients that come into the Gulf of the Farallons. So it's, it's a perfect stopping off point uh, for getting food and, and actually a lot of whales will even stay here uh, all year long. The first time that a humpback actually uh, did a spy hop where they act, they come up to the boat and they will look at you. Uh, it was the first time it ever happened to me and that was probably the most exciting thing. Uh, I actually looked into the eyes of this whale and it was not much further from me to you. And, uh, and they can sit there for a little while, you know, flick their tail and, and stay close to the boat. So that, that was almost like I was connecting with that whale. Uh, part of the year, whales are going north, migrating north and the other part they're migrating south and uh, their blues, humpbacks and grays, their, their migratory patterns seem to overlap and so just about any time of year you can find whales in the Gulf of the Farallons. The great white sharks, um, they like to camp out at the Farallon Islands because that's a, uh, a favorite area for elephant seals to pup and so that being their favorite food, uh, that's where they come and that's where they stay uh, for about three months out of the year. October is sort of the big month for uh, elephant seals and for great white sharks. And in fact, some of the researchers around here call it Sharktober. And when they're full grown, they're roughly the size of a suburban. I've heard that between anywhere between 30 and 100 sharks may be circling the island at any given time during peak shark season. It's possible to see a great white. Uh, keep your eyes peeled and look for lots of bird activity. Uh, the birds always give away a, a predatory attack. I just would like people to make a conscious decision about everything they do, uh, the cars they drive, um, what they throw away, what they buy at the supermarket. I'd like people to, to feel a bond when they, when they walk away from the boat, uh, a bond that lasts, that goes with them when they go home.